A tragic update to the story of a house fire we first brought to you at 5 o'clock. The 12-year-old boy badly burned in that fire has died from his injuries. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Valerie Cavazos. And I'm Christina Myers. This was the scene around 9.30 this morning on West Julep. That's near Thornydale and Cortero Farms. The boy was trapped in his bedroom before heroic efforts by neighbors and deputies to pull him out. Not on your side, Simone Del Rosario is in the newsroom with details deputies have uncovered so far in this fatal fire investigation. Simone. Well, deputies say the fire was set right under his bunk by his little brother, who was playing with matches. The little brother, the mother, and two of her adult children all able to get out of the house, but the 12-year-old boy is physically disabled and burned in his bunk until a few heroes ran in to save him. While smoke filled the bedroom, two neighbors and a deputy rushed in. They pulled the 12-year-old boy from the bunk. He was wheelchair-bound and only had use of his left arm. They passed him off until he was in the arms of firefighters and rushed to the hospital. The chief deputy had one word for their actions, heroic. They all went way out of their way to rescue not just the 12-year-old boy, but the entire family. The three men suffered from smoke inhalation, but only the boy was seriously hurt. Had he not had this disability, the outcome could have been a lot different. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, yes. Because everybody else in the home was able to make it out without any injuries. Neighbors say they were alerted by yells for help, but one thing was not screaming, the smoke alarms. Deputies say in and around the bedroom, smoke alarms had been disconnected. We wonder if that might have not changed some of the results of today. Neighbors say they would see the 12 year old smiling and wheeling around the neighborhood, but one neighbor says his disability was sometimes difficult for his mom. The kid was getting a little bit older, a little bit bigger and everything like that, and so she was having a hard time getting him out of bed. And my roommate would always go over there and help him out of bed and stuff like that. But that's not the only challenge she faced. The mother told deputies she has struggled with the six year old who has been playing with fire for the last six months. The latest incident, just one day before deputies say he set the fire that ended up killing his brother. It's tough. I mean, I think she's a single mom, and I know that she was having a rough time over there. So, I mean, I pray for the family. Deputies tell me the 6- and 12-year-old boys were foster kids the woman ended up adopting. For now, they've put the 6-year-old in the care of the Department of Child Safety, formerly CPS, while they continue to investigate this case. In the newsroom, I'm Simone Del Rosario, Kaga 9 on your side.